Well, as you can see, we've got the bell isolated. It's off the horn, and um, I've got it onto a mandrel. And so I'm going to see if I can nudge some of this collapsed section out. Uh, if we can pull some of these creases and minimize them a little bit, uh, it'll make the, uh, the straightening process go a little more easily. This is uh, a little tricky but we're really trying to find out whether or not this bell is salvageable. I'm pretty confident that it is. So, uh, no, simply because I've dealt with them before. So what we're going to do is we're just going to manually pull this out and unfold it as best we can so that, uh, see what goes on after that. So we just pull out, straight, and undo some of these really tight folds. Okay, well this is the Z6C dent machine. And um, hmm. it's set up with a power disc and just a straight heavy roller. And uh, fortunately, uh, so far, what we're seeing is we're going to be able to reach uh, far enough into the flare to address the majority of uh, the, the creases and folds in the, in the inside of this bell. As you can see, it's still pretty bad, but uh, not as bad as it was because we just kind of pulled it and unfolded all this accordion business going on here uh, so that it's actually more of a sort of a bell shape but we still have a lot of crinkling and creasing here so what we're going to do is we're going to use the power disc which is this dome roller down on the bottom it spins and then our internal roller it's a large diameter roller and we are going to press the metal between instead of trying to push the dent out from one side or the other we're just going to feed the metal between the rollers or the rolling surfaces and smooth it out that way. Let's we'll start in the back of the bell first. So we pulled things out. We're going to feed down a little bit of pressure and basically screw this roller down to the inside. We have room there, and as we come in, we can jiggle that bell around between the two rolling surfaces, and as we screw it down, it gets tighter and tighter. But we don't want to crush the metal. We're just going to feed this between the two rolling surfaces so that it will hit the high spot and it will slowly unfold the metal. Just find those high spots and it will slowly increase it. So I'm just going to focus on this and shut my mouth for a bit. been working at this a little bit, we've applied a little bit more pressure. Now at this point is when you want to be slowing things down. If you're pressing on it too hard and you're just racing around on it, you're actually just kind of hopping over all of the dents and the creases and distortion. It's sort of a, like a spring action is the way that the metal is. It's just it'll compress and it'll pop back up because uh, it, it, you're just flying past it too fast. If you go and slow down, it gives the metal a chance to respond and you're actually pressing it down and it stretches the way that it wants to and relaxes. Like I said, if you're just racing around on you're just going to be hopping over everything and it's going to take a lot longer and you're actually going to work harder than them more. You don't want to do that because that's what leads to cracking. So at this stage, we've been working on it not very long. When we applied the pressure, things start to smooth out. So now we start working our way around on it and we're unfolding the metal very carefully. You can see all of that used Reynolds wrap look, you know, like the old aluminum foil after you've done cooking with it and it's all crinkled up. Well, it's going away. So we're very gently smoothing it. We're not crushing the metal. We're not hammering or beating out the distortion. We're just unfolding and taking our time.
almost done. As you can see, nice and shiny. Not all crumpled up. It does have quite a bit of sheen on it from the polishing process because it's not been colored out. Um, but uh, overall, looks good. And oh yeah, there's that nice Hirschbrunner emblem, our little reindeer. You don't want to buff that out. Uh, customers get a little annoyed if, uh, if that's missing. Anyway, so it's all cleaned up. Um, it might need a little tweaking here and there, very little. But we're just about ready to uh, made it up to the body section of the instrument and we'll get the mouth pipe put back on in uh, a jiffy and uh, let's get this sucker off to the platers.